A week after looting decimated many parts of the city, resentment is simmering in those communities, and now some aldermen are criticizing the mayor. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov is live in West Chatham. Dana, you spoke to one of those aldermen today. Yeah, I did, Jimmy. You know, that criticism has been growing over the past seven days in particular. Now, I'm just outside that alderman's ward boundaries, but I am in front of this makeshift barricade. It is protecting the back of a grocery store. And that alderman and others say it's an example of the help that didn't come from City Hall. The doors at this West Chatham Aldi are open, but the boards remain. Employees say business is slowly picking up after looting ravaged this and so many areas of the city's south and west sides a week ago. I don't have fear in my heart, but I do have love and I have concern. Inglewood resident Algier Coleman says she hopes the protests and even the looting sparks permanent positive change about how police treat African Americans. But 9th Ward Alderman Anthony Beal says many in pillaged neighborhoods are still reeling. People are still furious. Beal's far south side ward, which includes Pullman and Roseland, was hit hard. He's still angry, too. The lack of response was just totally ridiculous. Um, they were calling, they were calling, and we couldn't get help. I was calling, trying to get resources, couldn't get help. And he blames the mayor. We were totally dismissed. Beal echoes what 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez told me a week ago, even as his west side ward continued to be looted. We have individuals in charge from the mayor to, the, to uh, Superintendent Brown who were not listening to the people who are rooted in this community. Beal says it's widening a divide between the mayor and a group of aldermen who question her decisions. Well, it just goes to show that, uh, you know, if you don't agree uh, or if you're not, um, you know, j basically a go along, get along person, you're not going to get the resources. And Beal expects critics will grow more vocal. When you look at the first, um, you know, vote, um, you know, against the administration, there was only 11 dissent votes, but now we're at 21. Uh, that shows that there's a growing concern of, you know, the way the city is, is going and it's not going in the right direction. To be fair, the mayor and Alderman Beal have clashed for some time. Now, Beal says the mayor's fund to help small businesses recover, which has started with $10 million in taxpayer money, is a good idea. But he wonders where really is that money coming from with such a revenue hit to the city over the past few months in particular? In other words, he wonders if it might come from a property tax hike. And the mayor has said in the past, Jim, that nothing is off the table when it comes to balancing or at least trying to balance the looming budget. And, da and Dana, as you noted, they have clashed before. Were you able to ask the mayor about those fractured relationships? You know, I, I did in a phone briefing with the mayor and others this afternoon. I asked specifically about how to go about mending those fractured relationships. But the mayor actually talked about trying to do that with the community as a whole to show that she is sending resources out to those communities who were hit hard last week. But she did not directly answer the question about mending relationships with particular aldermen. And I tried to ask a follow up, but I was not able to. Jim. Dana Kozlov in West Chatham tonight. Dana, thank you.